Command Day in the Limelight by River Road. I did a review for this one quite some time ago. Ah, I love this game, it's genius. Anyway, apparently all the, uh, all my picks for, uh, February are apparently, uh, S uh not widescreen at least. Ah, uh, okay. Quick man lasers. Oh. Eek. Not quite as tight as the ones in Rosenkrutzen, thankfully. I can never pronounce that game's name. Anyway. And these are, of course, instant death quick man lasers, too. I love all the creativity River Road did. This game, he'd. Uh, he, the same. River Road had been working with uh, MK Fusion before this, and this game is practically the antithesis of uh, MK Fusion. In MK Fusion, you have all you can take go into a stage as any of shit. In MK Fusion, you can go into a stage as any of a whole ton of different characters uh, and play it any way you want. In this game, well, for example, this stage you can only be as Bomberman uh, when you play as. When you want to fight against uh, Air Man, you're going to be playing as uh, Heat Man, fi Fire Man, and so on. Urgh, these things. Okay, suddenly I look like I'm clumsy and terrible at games. Wielding an arc weapon. Urgh, come on, give me some healing. Oi. Maybe I should just go for the boss. I guess I should. These things don't want to give me any healing. Anyway. But the stages are built exactly around each character's ability. Every obstacle, everything that goes on is built around the character you're playing. Instead of having a general obstacle course that lets you play it any way you want. Not saying I don't... I don't appreciate, uh options for who, which character I'm playing as. I love Mushroom Kingdom Fusion. It's like my favorite game ever. But this, this is also amazing. And I feel like every person who's into uh, game design, especially platformers, really should play this game and check it out. I, unlike normal Mega Man games, there's no rock, paper, scissors thing going on. Um, that you don't gain powers or anything from beating the bosses. Although in Mega Man DL2, he does some of that. Powered up! Alright. Small change made to Elect Man. He uh, shoots just in one direction instead of three. But uh, he has uh, also. There's all kinds of cool stuff. Ow. But yeah, this is this is the kind of stuff I was talking about here. Using your power to open doors. Ah, shit. These things are just mean everything. Uh, I think it was Quick Man's boomerangs in Mega Man 2 that would kill them. Alright. See the way I, when I kill an enemy, it shoots out in four directions? Oh shit, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> also, did I mention this game is really hard? Ridiculously hard. Whew. Anyway, this, uh, also Wily's Castle is amazing. Uh, possibly the best part of this game is actually Wily's Castle. Uh, you know, of course, how this goes. Leave a comment below if you want me to play the rest of this game. Uh, do a full playthrough of it. And I'll put a link in my, uh, end card to my old review. That was one of my, one of 
of my early videos, actually, was my uh, review of this game. Crap. Alright! There we go. Yeah, but, oh shit, I didn't think he'd make that jump. I thought he was gonna fall in that hole. Kind of miss having a slide. <laughs> Gutsman can't even walk. He he didn't have a walk animation, so he can only jump. Ugh. Yikes. Really wish I had Leaf Man's power when going through that area. But that's not an option in this particular fan game. Ugh. Oh, crap. Okay. Ugh. Make it head. Yeesh. Oh. Okay. There we go. Power the door. Almost dead. Stop making me hurt. Oh my gosh! Yes! Get out of there! Oh, that's nice. That's from, uh... That's from, uh, Yoshi's Island! It's been a long time since I played this game. <laughs> years and years and years. I noticed in February I did uh, nothing but platformers, and they're also all games that I uh, have done videos for in the past. Ah. Shoot, don't tell me my lives. Okay, good. I don't know how many lives I have. There's not enough. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, uh. Yeah, that's right. by a few saw blades, a few rogue blades. I'm gonna be enough to take me down more than once. Okay. <sighs> okay. It's okay. I can make a jump. <sighs> See now. <laughs> Now I'm frustrated, and I'm playing worse, and I can't let that happen. Must remain calm. I did fencing for, uh, a couple years a while back, and I got fairly decent at it, but the one lesson that I learned... Ah! Anyway, we'll do a different stage. If you can remain calm, like, you have to remain calm. Otherwise, all your skills, all the practice you've done, just it doesn't work. You just, you just die. You have to remain calm while sword fighting. You can't get upset or angry or tense or worried. I can make that. No, I can't! that jump! Patience. Urgh. You 
know, no one knows this, but I once dabbled a little bit in, uh, making a really weird fan game of my own. But, uh, I didn't get very far with that particular project because I decided to go back and finish my novel. I can't remember if it was my first or my second novel, I mean, probably my first. But it was a, uh... Oh! Oh! Cool! But, uh, I had started to make a game using a, uh, using Salty's Metroid Conventional to, uh, but the, uh, tile sets and the enemies and stuff were Airman, and it was gonna be a you-can't-beat-Airman thing. It was silly. I was having fun making it. But yeah, like I said, I switched over to working on my novel. I don't know. I'll probably never go back and finish that particular project because there's a lot of games I would love to make. I, you know, childhood dream kind of stuff. Being a game designer. Uh, and uh, if I make a game, or inevitably when I make a game, it won't be <laughs> it won't be Sam Zarin versus Airman. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Ah, oh, crap! Those platforms count for an egg, too? Alright. Ah! Ah! Oh. Mega Man life. What use do I have for Mega Man's head? Psst. Hey, thunderbolt throwing guys. It helps if you aim. Good enough. Crap. <sighs> of course, I had to pick the stage that was about patience. My one weakness. Yeah. I thought that I was. I thought I was gonna screw up and die there when I made that jump. I didn't think I was gonna make it. It's like crap. My impatience has killed me again. <sighs> impatience. To shave, want to save yourself one second, you get yourself killed and spend like a couple minutes getting back to where you were. Patience never is a good thing when you're playing video games. Okay. Ah. Where is it? Got it! Okay, we're good. <gasps> no! Alright, well I only have like six minutes left. Let's go check out a different stage. Let's go someplace else. Okay. If you want to see me beat the rest of that, you'll have to vote for it. Alright, let me think. Who should we do? Cut Man. This will probably be the last one I get to do for today. This is possibly my, well, second favorite track from Mega Man 2. Stupid rabbits take way too many hits to kill. I am patient. Man, I continue. That's right. Cutman can just cut through anything, including whatever that is. Dirt, maybe. Yeah, 
this, like I, th I think you've probably gathered by now, is actually my favorite Mega Man fan game. And there's a lot of Mega Man fan games. People seem to be able to make Mega Man better than, uh... They have a lot of trouble trying to make a Sonic fan game. There's a lot of really bad Sonic fan games out there, but Mega Man, they usually get him right. Probably screwed up. Well, I definitely screwed that up. Shit. <gasps> no! No! Oh. F2, F3, F. Oh, okay. F5, F6, F7, F8, F9, F10. Where's the suicide button? Try that again. <sighs> oh my gosh. I don't even care. Urgh. I want to just get back where I was. Anyway. In many ways, uh, Mega Man DL2 surpasses the first day in the limelight, but uh, I think I just, I don't know, I prefer this one, but that might just be because I played it first and it was just so amazing. He's supposedly, uh, River Road's supposedly making a third game, but, uh, he had a demo out. But I, um, <clears throat> I don't know what's going on. I haven't actually corresponded with him in ages. <clears throat> but, uh, I don't know. He's probably just tired of making Mega Man games. He probably wants to make something else. There's just a lot of people who really love this game and really love the sequel. And he doesn't want to let us down. That's probably the only reason he... Because <laughs> like I said, I really get the feeling that he'd want to uh, move on. Aha! I see how this works now. Trixie. Ow! Shit, I'm gonna die. My greed is gonna get me killed, but I really want that healing. I need that healing. Okay, maybe I can still make it? Come on, I got my foot on this one. Yeah, no! I screwed it up. Can't get it. Can't get it. One of these days, I'm going to figure out some way to prevent so much glare from getting on my glasses or the screen. Yeah, hopefully, um... Well, it's just bright outside right now. I'll just probably have to set up curtains. So. Alright. It's time to fight a bunch of robot Gorilla Garads! Well, it could be Gorilla Garad. I mean, the game had Flash Man in it, so, you know, Little Garage was a Flash villain, originally, I think. You know, knockback is something people don't think about very much. But have you ever played a game where you're like, I'm so glad that game had knockback in it. It made the game so much more fun. No, you've never said that in your life. No one has. Ever. Anyway. Ah. Uh, 
uh, knockback is almost universal, with the exception of Mario and uh, Mario franchise characters. Love those logs. I think I'm out of time. <laughs> I like just cutting the vines. Even though it's purely detrimental for me, I love cutting them. Ow. Earth! No one's following me! Okay, I got it. Whoa! That was interesting. And that's all the time we have for today. If you want to see more of this game, well, you can download it. It's freeware, and the link is in the description. If you want to see me play the rest of this game, then uh, leave a comment and vote for it. Till next time, this is Hadrix signing off. <laughs>